Yeah, hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Company. We are playing some more Crusader Kings 3, continuing as the Duke here, uh, Duke Constantinos of Achaia, Achaia, whatever, however you pronounce it. And yeah, looking to actually go to war here with the Duke of Athens, which we actually want to take over Athens. So what's interesting about this game is I've been talking about how I've been playing as my Brittany campaign. And so I was playing it a little more last night and kind of found myself, Sweden actually owns it right now. Huh. That's interesting. Actually, they even made Sweden. But we're having some issues there, because number one, I kept getting invaded by freaking, well, you know, by the Norsemen, which was getting annoying. But number two is all of a sudden I was running into situations where I'm making like one, two gold per turn. And like, I didn't even have that large of an army and it's a freaking kingdom. And so it's really nice here in this campaign to actually be making as much gold as we are, because I think like that is maybe the biggest determiner of, you know, how well you're going to be able to do like in that game i am just a couple people like a couple heirs away from actually inheriting west francia which is not nearly that large like my granddaughter has a matrilineal actually no 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 yeah my granddaughter has a matrilineal marriage so she is actually the one who's their her kids are actually going to be the ones uh taking on my name uh to the king currently of west francia i had to kill a bunch of kids for that but you know hey it's 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 the game it's the game unfortunately she's not my heir so it's like one of those weird things where it's like i'm trying to kill my kids but it wasn't the easiest thing but anyways we keep finding ourselves in a weird situation because we just weren't making money in our neighborhood started declaring war on us and it's like ah crap so it's nice in this game to not have that issue the question is are we gonna go to war right away what were we waiting for um i think we should go ahead and max out our men at arms so we're doing the pikemen we're doing the archers and that's gonna counter the duke's troops I don't know what I was going to say there, but a bad word almost came out of my mouth because he's got the light footman. He's got the light horseman. I actually think I'm probably going to go with them as well. And I think we should go grab the onagers. Yeah, I think so. Can they actually get up to level three or do they only stay? Yeah, they only stay size one. I think I'm OK with that. Here's the reason. This is going to... Oh, no, they can go to size three. Yeah, no, I think we want that just because it's going to be able to take over the Dutch, uh, the uh, castles a lot quicker, like significantly quicker, especially, I think, if they're only four at level two. Hold up. I hear the dog. What's she doing? Okay, she's hanging out. I just want to make sure she wasn't going to go hit the door and want to go out because she's still having some stomach issues. It seems like for the most part, it's getting better, but I just want to make sure that, you know, she doesn't need to go out because I don't want her to, you know, poop all over the carpet. That would not be fun. Um, hi, can we ask you for money? Eight ninety five. It's also really great to have, you know, uh, piety and be able to do this. How old are we now? We're 47. We now have a duchy. I did learn, or I am learning, that the succession, the confederate partition, which is what everyone starts with, and we can't get there for quite some time. Like, you need... I think we might actually need to get to early medieval, which, by the way, this starts in 900 AD, so we're almost in the early medieval era. But I'm pretty sure this is where things start changing. Um, but this succession law is just trash, man. Because, like, it's just, like, younger children will be given titles with those of the same rank. And if not, they actually, like, I think they make titles. Yeah, new titles will be created for younger heirs. It's just, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, the good thing is the duchy is going to be inherited by Alexander. The problem is all these like other sons and stuff are going to start getting like all these random territories and our domain holding is going to go down to probably one, <laughs> probably, hopefully two. And ideally, can we actually tell them which one they get? See, here's the other problem with this. Um, they don't actually even keep the capital per se, because when you get to this next level, the biggest difference is your tiles will be divided equally among your children. Um... Where is it? It's mentioned here. Oh, okay. So, uh, middle of the great paragraph, it says, With the player heir always being given the primary title, the realm capital, and any direct de jure titles associated with it. So, here, 
Oh, I guess this one's the same. All right, well, never mind. Never mind. That's just absolutely worthless. I basically am just kind of delaying because I don't want to unpause the game. <laughs> uh, so we want to probably build our income up a little bit. We'll probably go ahead and bump up our ungers, ungers to level three before we go to war. But I think ultimately, I think our plan is going to be maybe to end up picking some mercenaries or at least be ready to grab the mercenaries. Do we have any children to marry? It's actually a good point. You're currently married. Our car. You're currently married. You're currently married. You're currently married. You are not married. And Isaac's actually old enough now. So. I think. I want an alliance for sure. I don't care about claims. But I think I do want inheritable traits. Eh, these both suck. Barcelona? Eh, all right. Since we're not going to play as Isaac. Now, this is the thing that's weird. So what happened in Brittany is my main liege died. And so then I took over as his son. But then his son had some children. But unfortunately... It's actually... What, 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 what? But unfortunately, his son... So, ah, that, 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 that. okay, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. So this is us. So we ended up dying. We started playing as our primary heir. Our primary heir had a couple sons, but for whatever reason, the titles weren't passing on to him. They were actually passing on to um, the grandchildren of of our duke, like to his uh, his children rather. So it was like the cousins were actually getting it, which is really weird. Now, I know they patched the game this morning. I think it actually happened here on Xbox, too, to fix some of it. I don't know if that was part of the thing that was happening, but, like, we... It would be really weird if all of a sudden, after playing Alexander, we ended up popping over to Isaac as opposed to Alexander's kids. Which, how long have you guys been married? It's, it's time for you guys to start having some kid. Uh, she's a wise woman. Yeah, all right, she's fine. I had to quit. I always see that as beggar. And I'm always like, wait a second. All right, anyways, back to Isaac. Hi, we want to arrange marriage. Um, and I'm just going to go for alliance. Wait. There we go. There we go. There we go. And we'll do alliance power. This is Ephorus. That's Ephiros? Nope, that is that one. Now, I think you actually have an alliance with him already. You do not. Okay, we might actually want this one then. Yeah. You also would not be a bad idea. Uh, but you're already allied here. So here's the thing. I'm not 100% sure. And that's actually just the county. Yeah, that's just the county. Okay, never mind. Uh, are you the Dutch? Yeah, you're the Dutchy. So we'll go ahead and grab you. Uh, you do have siblings. I wonder if we could maybe do some murdering and potentially inherit this stuff. We probably could. Yeah, we probably could. We're both going to get 100, and he's got similar power than us. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that for sure. So now, how is this going to work? She is fourth in line. Actually, she's fifth in line? Wait, is that the one I'm marrying? Did I just marry the Craven? No, I think I just married the Curious. Stefina. Yeah, that's Zenoba. Which, once again, begs the question, she's the granddaughter. Like, what? What? I, huh? I, I don't know. But whatever. We'll just take the alliance for now. Just trying to get as many alliances as possible so when we do this war, hopefully we don't have to spend that much money. Uh, I kind of like keeping a little bit in the bank so we don't have to necessarily go in the negative. We should go to four because we're still just kind of chilling. The thing is, I'm not in any rush in this game. I really am not. So Isaac came of age. Um, he got skilled tactician, military engineer. Dude, that is great. Uh, wait, that wasn't Alexander. That was Isaac. So the thing is, I'm totally down with Isaac being one of our Hitari. Because I think he's going to be pretty good, right? And if he dies, that's one less title we have to worry about. So he currently... He only has a three prowl list. Ugh. Well, he's on the list. He's on the list. Do I want to make sure someone else doesn't... You're like, I don't care if you die. 
David, we definitely want... I don't want to spend the money to recruit you. Hitare, Hitare, you're my only vassal right now. He's just a mayor. I don't care if my mayors die or if my vassals die. I don't necessarily want my council people dying, depending on how good they are. If they suck, then whatever. <laughs> then, then, then they can die. Well, it is another interesting, like, I dig this. This is a whole nother uh, level of strategy that wasn't in the previous Crusader Kings, which is going to be interesting to figure out. Hey, nice extra taxes. So that means we can go ahead and just bump you up. Now, I don't know. Is this bumping up? I'm just trying to wonder what the additional size is helping with. Yeah, and I'm not entirely sure on that. All right, let's wait until we can get to the point where we can afford. Actually, we really kind of dig these light horsemen. I was looking at these guys because um, they uh, have elite quality. Now, the thing is, light horsemen aren't going to be necessarily oh, uh, great. Let's see. Hills, hills. So they're going to have a bit of a negative. So we'd much rather have like bowmen because these guys have a negative in the hills. But the elite quality is kind of hard to pass up compared to like crap quality. So, I don't know. I don't know. Once again, ideally, we don't need it. And if we do get it, it would mostly... Or if we do end up um, getting mercenaries, it's just going to be for the numbers, probably. Levy reinforcement rates, sure. Popular figurehead's going to be great. Domain limit's going to be good. And then architect will be good. Um, what What's your focus, by the way? Stewardship. Income 10%. See, the thing is, and I still don't know... So we're getting 10% additional taxes and plus two on our domain limit. I don't know. I got to find a number. Like at some point, there's going to be like, hey, if you have 10 uh, stewardship, you have this much domain. There's probably something where we can find that like online, which would be worth noting. Would we end up losing too much domain limit and stuff like that? So yeah, but for now, I think we'll just keep it with what we have. Um, I literally replaced that the mayor here with that other guy and now Yeah, yeah, we don't have any order issues, right? Powerful vassal You're not really great, buddy. I'm just gonna throw that out there We have too many vassals at this point Which is one of those reasons where it's like we should be giving away maybe some of the territory But the thing is it's weird being a, a, a duke. There's not like I can't really give away my duchies Ultimately, what we're going to end up doing is as we take over Athens, we don't, it's weird because it's like, you kind of want to create the empire, like usurp the empire because then you can de jure war for rest of it, basically saying, hey, I have the lawful right for this entire duchy, so now I'm going to declare war and take the rest of the duchy. The problem with that is if we have two different duchies, then all of a sudden when I die, it gets inherited by someone else. I'd have to make a kingdom which I think having two duchies is what you need to make the kingdom. But once again, I still am not 100% sure if we create the kingdom, if that would require us being independent. <sighs> All right. Uh, when was this happening again? 95. So actually here pretty close. So we'll probably ask for money and then go to war. Because that should give us enough for mercenaries. Ideally, he would be fighting someone else and have like weak troops, but... It is what it is. Yeah, his allies aren't actually that strong looking at it. Uh, we're going for war against... Huh? Oh, we're defend... No. Oh, we just joined the war. Gotcha, this wasn't our war. Interesting. Huh. Alright, well, doesn't matter. Powerful vassal, you can declare war, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, let's just get rid of both of those because I know about them. I don't like how they pop it back up. Like, hey, you can do this. It's like, yeah, I knew about that already, thank you. All right, just letting time tick, right? Yes, letting time tick. We're gonna wanna go to speed three here though, pretty quickly. It was April, so we're really close. We could probably just go to war now because that money will pop it. You know what, let's just do it. All right, Um, hi, buddy. We have enough prestige to call people in, yes, without going into the negative, that's good. So we're gonna call for the claims for Attica. 
good. He's at similar. 11 plus 7 is going to be like 1,800. Actually, this should tell me the total ally strength. No, see, it doesn't tell the total. It just gives, like, the list, which is annoying. But anyways, here's the other thing. Since we have one extra ally, that means we should have more knights, too. Hitari, rather. Uh, anyways, 1,100, so this is like 2,200. This is like 2,000, so we're at like 3,000. So we're actually a little bit stronger. Um, and I think base level, so he's at 1,510 plus 310. And then we are at 12 Plus 600. So we're actually a little less in levies, but it'll be fine. So that's probably why it was comparable. All right, declare war. Hi, I want my claims, buddy. Boom. We declared war. That costs some prestige. Thank you. Go away. I want to call my allies. Go, 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 go. Please, go, go away. Thank you. <laughs> you can call your allies to war. All right. Uh, how much is this going to cost? 75. That's not bad. 75, not bad. Dude, like, freaking calling in the King of France into my war was, like, uh, 350 prestige. I was like, oh, my gosh. Um, I actually should... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're going to dismiss you. Let's go ahead and disband it. I'm going to actually cheese this out a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and make another rally point, and I'm going to make it right there. And we're going to actually raise all our troops here. Just so they're a little closer to the front line. So hopefully we can get him a little quicker. Of course, I shall join this war. The question is, can I win this? You will probably win. He is defending a river crossing. Which I can't get rid of that. But I have a better commander. He's still gathering his army. He's defending in hills, but I do have every one of my troops counters his. I'm also higher quality and I have more soldiers. So, he's running away. I think I'm going to let him go away. So, my allies joined. His allies have not yet. Oh, actually, this would not be a win anymore. Hold up. So it's still a uh, it's taking him forever to get on the boat. We do have allies nearby who might actually be able to get in here on us or be able to help out, but yeah, I just want to go ahead and siege this down. Take over his capital. Let my troops come in. He's actually going to come around and try sieging me, but I started first. Actually, he's going over here for that for us. Whatever. Um, dude, dude, dude. I don't know what this means. I have no idea. Assault four. Oh, we can assault it because we actually breached the walls. Huh. Dude, this is so much quicker now. I like the Onagers. This is the first time I actually built them. So, the point being, we will be able to siege him down before he's able to get to us. And then we'll be able to go kill his stuff. And the thing is, we might just actually capture the Duke. No, he's in this army. Interesting. He doesn't have much martial. So we're going to want to go kill that army eventually. All right. I took his son hostage. We will want to send him off. So that means we only have 10% from captured air. That's weird because when I had my air captured, it was like negative 50%. <laughs> uh, is he going for my capital? I think he's actually going for my... Yeah, he's going for my capital. Hi. Hey, team. I need you guys to join me here. Because I can't take this fight by myself. I'm going to need their entire army. I'm just going to wait for them to catch up. Yeah, they know what's going down. Going down for... So it still says you will probably lose. This is weird. I don't actually want to take him out. I think let's come around here. And the goal is to merge up with these guys. And do something like this. He will lose decisively. 
All right, now, on the other hand, you will still lose decisively. Interesting. Dude, they're just, like, kind of annoying with these mountains things. I'm wondering, what about splitting my army in half? I, I don't want both of these groups. I just want one, please. I just want one of these armies, man. Please, just, just give me one army. Why? So, you stay there. Because we have a bit of a stalemate. And in fact... Eh, I'll stay there. Uh, but what I can do is I can go ahead and start sieging down his other castles. Uh, do we have the Onagers? We have 20 of them. We just literally split them in half. Now, if he goes for... Because these are hills versus mountains. We might have a better chance at winning this one. Now, this is the only thing that's potentially awkward, is he's going into the water. Okay, I just wanted to make sure he wasn't going for those guys, which, once again, it looks like he didn't. I would love it if these guys would actually just go take him out, but the thing is, especially if he's stuck in water, that's fine, because we'll just keep taking more territory. That's going to actually bump up our war score. Um, once again, we're probably going to need to go fight this off. But I did just conquer another territory. That's 83%. So we, once again, just need to get over here and keep him from... Okay, there you go. He got kicked off. Um, so then let's go grab this other one and be done with it. Uh, my dude's actually going for this war here. Uh, what? Uh, hello. I think they got the win. I actually don't think I can get over here in time. Nope, they lost. But, we should be able to hop in. And the whole goal is to basically beat them up. Okay, so we pulled this one out. That one got a little sketchy, but all right, we pulled off the win. So that puts us at 100%. Good, 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 good. Uh, let's see, alliance expired, alliance invalid. Oh, dude, our ally died. And he was actually, oh my gosh, the Duke of this territory just died. Uh, well, that sucks. Literally just made that. Okay, but the other guy, okay, the other guy allied with us. And then we killed just some random dude. So, um, so we're still allies then. Maybe? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. So we're at 100% now. Let's go ahead and enforce demands. We gain 20 fame, we get a uh, county bishop and the city. He, allies get 20 prestige as well. He's going to spend 20 for his allies. His allies actually did come in. I don't think I realized that. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So that's exactly what we wanted to see here, by the way. Um, and Athens should be a pretty decent uh, winner for us, I think, in the scheme of things. Like, it should make some pretty okay money. Uh, we actually don't have you yet. I thought we were at 100% down here. Oh, I think it's just the order. But that's okay. All right, so we ended up winning. We lost 360. He lost 700. This was actually not going well for us, so we kind of basically uh, turned it around there at the end. Um, I want details, man. I always like to see these details. So, we did lose a knight. Oh, he got wounded. No, no, Zygmunt died. Interesting. And then our mayor got wounded. Our levies? Dude, look at that. 227 kills. He actually had 12 knights, which is maybe the problem here. Our bowmen didn't kill that much. Our pikemen got a lot of kills, though. 
Yeah, the pikeman did really good work. And his knights, or his horsemen, got absolutely crapped on. So this pikeman, really, really, really good idea. The bowmen, on the other hand, don't seem to be working for us as well as we had hoped. So the thing is, I noticed that the bowmen definitely uh, counter the light footmen. Yeah, and I mean, look, he didn't have many kills here. So I suppose in the scheme of things, it's okay. The Bowmen, they counter, but they just don't do that much damage. Like, their stats are trash. It's like 25-10 here versus like 10-16, 10-16. and 16. So it's like, that's the only problem. Yeah, they counteract, but they're just terrible. I know how to fabricate claims. I know how to do all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can ask the Head of Faith for gold. We actually totally forgot to do that. We can designate a Guardian for Theocrasty. Uh, I don't really care about me. Someone needs some happiness. Not really. You're a Blade Master? You're robust? You know what, screw it, let's do it, dude. Have it. Make her a freaking bad A fighter, man. You're still doing manage domain, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're still swaying him. Okay. Not really doing a whole lot right now. So, once we get the control up here, I think we're gonna start making some pretty decent cash. And look at how many buildings, dude. Ooh, so Attica might need to become our new capital, man. Uh, the other thing that we really want to look at doing, now that I think about it, is since this is our capital, we want to have this fort as high as possible. Like, I think it would definitely be worth it to give some hills fort here. Because make it as hard as possible for them to take it over. And the other thing is it also gives you garrison too. So they're going to need even more troops to conquer it. Basically just to kind of prevent random people. Like here's the whole idea. We want to be able, because they're always going to be able to kind of hop in the water and come around and hit us. So we want to be able to take their crap before they can come take our crap. That's essentially I think our goal. So because of that. Oh yeah, we can also construct a new holding. We almost have enough money. Huh, interesting. I wonder how that would work. If we put a holding here, would they have to take that before they come here? Probably not. But that would be interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and construct the hill for here. Cause that's our capital. And we have enough money. I kind of want to go bump something up here. Hillside fields, do you have military academies? Army maintenance, number of knights plus two, and their effectiveness. Um, yes. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Oh my gosh. All your holdings in the duchy. Gain plus one fort level. Dude! Construct new duchy buildings. Can I, like, not do that Construct new duchy buildings. Why do I have duchy buildings there, but not elsewhere? Because that's just a new building. Interesting. So I wonder why this one has duchy buildings. Huh. Okay. Whatever. Royal armories give you extra levy size 20%. We might have absolutely... Eh, probably not, but we might have hurt his... Levy size by quite a bit, taking over Attica. Jousting ground, whew. Blacksmith, archery grounds, mmm. Getting more damage out of archers might be interesting. Tax office, holding taxes, plus 10%. That's only that duchy, though. Can I build a duchy building? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Now, the thing is, duchy buildings here aren't as useful. Just because, you know, the duchy is only the one territory. This being on your realm. So, yeah, that's, I think, what we want to look at here. Archery grounds also lowers men and armor maintenance, which is kind of crazy, too. Uh, leisure palace, monthly prestige, stress loss, plus 15%. Extra growth and control. This holding, extra 0.8 per month. Oh, my God. Every one of these is insanely good. Wow. Dude, I think we're going to go with the plus two, the military academies. Also lowering the army. Um, 
I hate that this is just the duchy now that I look at it. If this was the entire realm, oh my god. Uh, okay, so I actually can't construct any of these buildings because I don't own the duchy. Okay. Oh, these are special buildings for the duchy. That's what... Once again, wondering why you have duchy buildings and they don't. Is it because the castle's a certain level? It doesn't look like it. Huh. I'm not entirely sure. So, scheme is, we can't actually do nearly what we wanted to do here. Uh, you're already at size four. Part of me wants to go ahead and do the small hill for it as well. Get it, man. That would be a plus six. That would be ridiculously hard to take at this level. The other options, we could go ahead and upgrade here. And we can get to 0.5 per month and just keep working on our income. The other thing is we could potentially find one that's a 0.5. We might have to go to a town to do it. Farms and field, get plus 0.5. Some of the hill forts actually get the point five, but I don't remember which ones. Tax point two, point two. Hmm. See, he has the duchy buildings here too. That's just this holding. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think that was a duchy building. Still not entirely sure why. Why some of them show up and some of them don't. All right, well, let's just go get some farms then. Yeah, and we have enough that we can afford one other thing. I'm wondering about maybe actually just grabbing the hill fort. I think I'm gonna go grab that then. We'll just get some buildings going. Here's the thing. Athens is basically going to be um, kind of the front of our empire for a while. So, anyways, blood stain, cloth, crow's feathers, uh, strange smell and concoctions. This is evidence from presented to me by villagers. Didn't we already deal with this witchcraft one? Who is she? Is she just some random, random wandering person? So we can gain a bunch of sewer chip lifestyle and we get upset peasants, which, eh. I can't burn her. And I don't want to spend the piety, so you know what, peasants, come at me, bro. And the thing is, guess what? Peasants hate me, I don't know they love me again. <laughs> Boom. Ah, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. And we're still almost like what a uh, fourth of the way to the next one, so cool, 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 cool. Greetings, Duke Constantinos. I've been corresponding with your chancellor. I must say, you've come to see a new light. So he's the dude that's down there. He's probably trying to friendly me because he's kind of in this weird situation. Eventually we might want that. I think I might want to finish off this duchy first. I don't know. Cause I bet these bear, like I bet this is generating quite a bit of money here. I mean, it is, it is. So I don't know, part of me wants to maybe go to war with him here. Actually, that's a good question. He only has one ally. And his ally's crap, and he's also crap. Alright, hate to say it, buddy. But... We want your crap. Yeah, I think taking Uboa, Ubo, County of Ub Ubia, Ubio, would be really great. And then Naxos probably would also be great, but we'll get there eventually. Uh, what is the duchy here? The Aegean Islands, which is actually all of those. So, ooh, is this part of the same duchy as, oh, this is actually part of the uh, Athens duchy then. Interesting. So, once we have Uboe, we can actually usurp the duchy then. 
So we don't have to um, 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 go. I thought I thought this duchy was going to be some more of these. So that actually is where we want to go. Once again, we don't really want to usurp the duchy though yet. Although, maybe I can do the Kingdom of Greece? Uh, like, or Helius, sorry. Because we'll have two duchy titles. I love how it says kingdom titles required, empire titles required. So you're saying I actually need a kingdom to create this? That doesn't seem right. Oh, you need one of the following. Gotcha. So actually, that's goal then. So we're going to want to usurp the duchy, which is going to be 250 gold. And then we're going to want to create the kingdom, which is going to be 500. So ultimately, we're going to need 750 gold is the plan. All right. I'm going to go on a hunt here because our stress is a little high and we got money. So I think at this point, we're going to kind of chill until we do um, yeah, here in a little bit. I follow my quarry in the mountains slowly but surely gaining on the flighty heart. Suddenly it spooks and bounds away as I move to see what's scared I can scarcely be leave my eyes. Garofelia and Antiochus entangled on the ground in a passionate embrace. She's my spy master. He's my Hitori. I, I, I don't really care. Yeah, I mean, she's probably not gonna like me because I exposed the secret, but like, she still pretty much likes me, so like, whatever. <laughs> uh, I gained 150, nice, good, 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 good. He endorses me, good. I didn't realize you hadn't endorsed me, so that could have been a problem. You just don't make as much money if he doesn't endorse you. So, you know, always want to do that. Prisoners. Oh, I didn't even realize we had prisoners. Kind of forgot about that. Hi. You are actually going to cost 100. Are you Duke? Does he have titles? Is he the... I think he's his son, right? Yeah, okay. So he's the heir. Huh. 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 Dude has no money. Huh. What do you think we can do? So, here's actually the other interesting question. Now, okay, he has multiple kids. Would he inherit? That's the one thing I'm not entirely sure. Is, would he actually inherit the title while being in my prison? If not, or if so, could I, like, then be, you know, kind of like I'm thinking Game of Thrones-ish, where I basically control the dude who's in charge of it. So would I then, by proxy, be <laughs> the dude of it? I don't know. Your liege won their war. Cool. All right. Well, we got to wrap this episode up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Share the game. Comment. Share your support. I think we got a plan in place. We're 51. We're going to really need to start saving money. I don't know if there's any other way to make bank right now. He's already doing the money. I could actually go here, by the way, just to reduce the building construction time. I still think just generating this, because I think this also gives you extra taxes, which is just base money. And he's not bad, so I think we'll keep rolling with that. Uh, Proceeds direct vassal opinion. Let's go back to the local stuff, just because I did piss off my spy master here. Although she's not a vassal. Actually, yeah, no, no, no. Keep doing what you're doing, then. Uh, and you're just disrupting schemes, right? We could... We're gonna go see if we can find out some juicy stuff on him. I don't think that would help us in the war. I don't know, but we'll see. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, come share your support. Next episode, hopefully, we will be going for the duchy. Till then, later, everyone.